All right, friends, welcome back. It's a brand new day. It is January the 3rd, and I'm in my basement office slash studio. We're still working on it. You can see raw rafters up there. We're gonna get those sealing in here in a little while. But I wanted to get on real quick because we didn't forget. And some of you might be like, wait a minute, there's supposed to be a Christmas, a Christmas special. We post one every year. We've posted one every year since around 2015. Um, but we haven't posted ours yet this year, and that's because of this. On um, Christmas Eve, I started not feeling good. And so we videoed Christmas Eve, which you should have seen. Um, by the time I woke up Christmas Day, I felt even worse um, and started losing my voice. And so we, we recorded you know, the morning of Christmas, uh, opening the gifts, not all of them, but some of them. Uh, we shared building the Legos. Um, we didn't show you the result of the Legos. We're going to present them probably in another video because I just don't have time to do it on this one. Um, but uh, we didn't finish the video. Um, because by the time we got like halfway through the day, I had no voice. Um, and felt really, really, really bad. Had a horrible cough. You can still hear me cough every once in a while. And so we didn't do as much vlogging for Christmas as we typically do. We didn't get the food. We didn't get the evening hangout time. Like, we just got the gifts, we got the Legos, and Christmas Eve. Uh, the rest of the day, I just was not feeling great. Um, the Eagles were playing, so we were watching football most of the afternoon. Um, it was just a, you know, not a great, it was a great Christmas, just not a great feeling day for me. Um, and so I haven't been able to finish anything. And then the day after Christmas, that was probably the worst day. I had absolutely no voice. I was hacking all over the place. Um, uh, started feeling better a little, a little better on Wednesday, but Wednesday was a, a crazy transitional day. Um, Logan had to fly out and go back home. My mom was coming in on the train. We just—it was a super busy day. I still had quite a, quite a nasty cough, but I was feeling better. Thursday, again, more improvement, but the cough was still around. Um, and then we got into the weekend, and I was finally feeling pretty good. All that's just to say, we didn't get as much recorded as we normally do, but I still want to post something because for us, going back and watching these Christmas specials, um, they're just a great memory saver. Like, we love going back and watching past Christmases, and we love watching the kids open gifts, and we love hearing the laughter, and we love seeing the things that we did, and just creates for us just a, a sweet moment where we were like, yeah, life was life was fun and life was good and um, yeah, God just was, was blessing us and we, we, we want to remember all of those things. And so we're going to post this. It's not going to be as Christmassy as we had intended. It's not going to be as Christmassy as we've done in the past. Um, but my hope is we'll do better next year as long as no one gets sick. Um, but I want to post this up there. I want to share it with you. Hope you enjoy it. Um, we did. It was a great Christmas. We had a lot of fun. The kids had a lot of laughter. Um, the presents were great. It was really fun because our kids are getting older and they're learning how to give gifts. Um, and so it's fun to watch them give gifts. Um, so yeah, we had a really sweet day. And like I said, open gifts. We played Legos. We watched football. We ate our appetizers. And we just enjoyed being together as a day. In fact, those two days, Monday and Tuesday, Christmas Day and the day after Christmas, we just enjoyed being together. And not having the camera out was nice because no one felt like we were being intrusive and no one felt like they had to perform. It was just quiet days and it was sweet. So we hope you had a wonderful Christmas. We hope you and your family had a, a sweet time gathering together, however that looks for you. Um, we did Christmas three times. Nate and Amherst came in the weekend before Christmas. Logan came in the weekend of Christmas. Well, actually, Logan and Aiden both came in the weekend of Christmas. And then my mom came in a few days after. Um, and I wish we would have vlogged more with my mom because we did a ton of things with her. Um, just sightseeing and visiting some places in the area. And it was really, really, really a lot of fun. We, we I wish we would have vlogged that. That would have been a great um, couple days series there. But, uh, but yeah, so here it is. Christmas special, Christmas Life in the Hive House, or Christmas in the Hive House, however you want to call it. Um, we hope you enjoy it, and uh, as always, we would love to have you join the family. So subscribe, ring that bell, follow us on social media, and um, 
Yeah, join us as we go through this adventure this year. It's 2024. We're doing the Almost Daily Vlog. We are going to vlog as much family stuff as we can. Um, it's going to be a great year, and you don't want to miss it. We've got a lot of fun things percolating on the uh, on the stove. And uh, gosh, God's moving in some great ways, and we can't wait to see all of the things he's going to do. So here it is, Christmas in the Hyam House 2023. Thanks, guys. So we'll see you next time right here Life in the Hyam House.
So I feel like we've been like, the Lord has been moving in us and shaping us this year and just teaching us different things. And I feel like we've tried to live this way, but this really hit me the other day when I was reading it. So I want to encourage you to live with us. Then the king will say to those on his right, come you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome Over the past year, maybe how you have displayed that. And if you can't think of a way of a past year, maybe this year, this year.
to go get it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah. My blue one, I have no idea where it is. I have no idea. I've been doing projects around the house, so it could be like... Raya, you allowed him to do this? Oh. No, she's the one who wrapped all the other gifts while I wrapped this. <laughs> I was a bit frustrated. Wrapping all your gifts before you finish wrapping this one. Keep going. Wasted material. I know. She's stuck. Kill in the, yeah, kill in the environment. So what? End up in a landfill somewhere. Oh, great. Better in our atmosphere. That's why I have cancer. Okay. Okay. I don't think that's why I have cancer. Uh, I hope it's just sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what, what should I do? Yeah. Just, just at least have like like hold it like you mean and not like you're about to look like <laughs> Rex, come here. Rex, excuse come me. Here. I hope I don't damage anything. Oh, God. By just ripping into it. <laughs> We need to teach you a uh, knife safety. I'm terrible at that. Stuff. It's too much. You're a brat. Well, after you've done it to each of the kids, it's about time you have. You have yours. What? There's three more. Wait, what was inside of it? So close. Keep going. No, you got it. Here's another box in there.